Again, Marshall Barnes has returned to his parallel universe research and brought back another breakthrough, firmly establishing his dominance over all of the failed results at CERN's Large Hadron Collider in regarding retrocausality, micro wormholes, and detecting parallel universes. CERN's Mir Faisal had boldly proclaimed that the parallel universes of quantum mechanics could not be tested for, and so were philosophy and not science. Instead he said he was looking for parallel universes in higher dimensions. He didn't find them, and Marshall has him proved wrong by showing how parallel universes actually do exist from quantum mechanics. Marshall's original experimental series was called the Rachel and Emily Tests. Now he has added, the Susie Experiment. Like Rachel and Emily, the Sunzi experiment involves a laser pointer, a two-way mirror as a beam splitter and a high-velocity fan as a shutter system. And like the Emily test, there is also a regular mirror set to serve as a detection area. This time, all the action appears in the regular mirror. The beam splitter reflects occasional laser bursts in the direction of the mirror, but once again, Marshall shows that laser hits appear when there is no source shown. All sources for laser activity are reflected in the mirror, yet the anomalous hits strike the area below the mirror when nothing appears in the mirror as a source. This would seem to indicate that the laser hits from a parallel universe are not traveling through the air before striking, they are just appearing directly at the target site. This research is a continuation of the conceptual work derived from the proposal that German astrophysicist Rainer Plage had in 1995 when it was reported on by John Gribben in his New Scientist article, Talking to a World Next Door. Plage published it in his 1997 paper on a possibility to find experimental evidence for the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics in the journal Foundations of Physics. There, Plaga suggested that an experimenter would see results without cause because the cause would be in a parallel universe. Once again, Marshall shows that he is getting laser hits without cause due to the decoherence caused by the laser activity with the shutter system. The shutter system instigates a delayed choice for certain laser pulses which cause a new universe to appear into which the laser enters and strikes the area where it may have it if it had been a reflected pulse from the beam splitter. However, the mirror shows that there was no laser activity at the moment to account for the laser hit being there. It is a laser hit from the original world, now, next door. The fact that my experiments are filmed gives us a record of what happened. And when we see a laser point or dot appear when there was no laser source for it, that's proof that it came from an original universe into a new parallel universe.